Average Woodsman here back with another video. So today I just, I really wanted to do um, a relatively quick review on the class that I just took a couple of weeks ago, Randall's Adventure and Training, their field survival course. So the first thing that uh, I kind of want to touch on is something that they, they talk about in the actual uh, description of the class. That's not a bushcraft class. And I took their advanced bushcraft course last year and super chill, a lot of fun, learned a ton of stuff. Uh, but this class was completely different. It was, I, I don't want to give a whole lot of, a whole lot away. That's kind of why I didn't want to do a, a really long video. It consisted a lot of physical type things you're doing a lot of physical activity you it's very very land navigation heavy so if you have never done any type of land navigation uh you may struggle a little bit they have a portion when you first get there where you spend a few hours in the classroom they kind of go over the class uh, you go over basic land navigation they show you uh, some self mapping and things like that you get some items um, it's so physical though and one thing uh, that um, really caught me by surprise is how miserable they make you for basically almost the entire class there were times where I was completely miserable I never wanted to give up but quit but I was definitely there was a lot of it I was not having a good time it was I was kind of just going through the motions uh, you you're sleep deprived you're there's a lot of um, you know you don't really get very many calories as we did things you know you 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 would get rewarded but it was uh I don't want to say it was different than what I expected, but it definitely, I think I had a different idea of what it, what it would consist of. Because I've done other field survival courses, you know, for other places, other, other places like I've done the basic survival course at the Pathfinder School, and it was a lot different. It was a lot different. This one was a lot harder, a lot more physical more demanding it was just overall um, a very different experience um, like we had a lot of tasks that we had to perform as a as a group you do a lot of PT so if if you are out of shape you're going to struggle I had a great team of guys there was nine of us they only allow ten total but uh, we there was nine of us I had a great team, no one quit, but there were times where people were struggling heavily, physically and mentally. You could tell that they that they really wanted to give up, but they weren't going to. And, uh, you know, we just kind of tried to push each other, you know, so I was lucky. I was lucky in that aspect that I had a good, good group of guys. Um, if you're allergic to poison ivy, just... You're going to get it. Everyone there besides me and one other guy was just had poison ivy all over them. So, you know, I've been in contact with the rest of the people who were who were there. You know, we did some texting and some chain emails and stuff like that. And and uh, one of the things that they were all like, you know, everyone's covered in poison ivy. I'm good. I, I don't I don't I don't really have, I guess I'm not allergic to poison ivy because I'm done. Quite a few classes now. Uh, the one in Ohio, the uh, basic survival course in Ohio. I mean, there's poison ivy everywhere there. I never got it. Didn't get it in this class. So I, I'm assuming that you know maybe it just doesn't affect me, like it affects some people. Um, I uh, if you guys haven't seen my original video of the gear that I'm going to take, they have a very specific gear list, and, and and it's very very short. Only a couple items that you're supposed to bring. Uh, I originally was going to bring my Bark River. This is the knife I ended up bringing. 
It's the Battle Horse Knives Buckeye. And uh, I'm really happy with it, honestly. I'm going to roll in some photos at the end. That's one thing that I forgot to do uh, so on my other uh, class reviews that I've done. I forgot to roll in photographs from them. But I'm going to make sure I roll in photographs from this one. And uh, you'll see the knife in, that, in, in some of the photographs. But yeah, I'm really, really happy about it. At one point in time, we had to like, we ended up with just one knife among all of us. And I was the one chosen to keep my knife. So you had nine guys sharing basically one one knife the whole for for quite a while. So my knife was getting passed around and it did really well. I mean, I heard people chopping down saplings and things with it. So it ended up working pretty well. I would say probably the toughest thing, because I'm sure people are probably going to ask, the toughest thing about the class, I thought it would, might be the food, but it ended up being the sleep deprivation. That was by far the toughest. I mean, with the amount of stuff that you do and not having any sleep whatsoever, basically, for 72 hours, uh, I mean, I felt... I was like legitimately felt like I was hallucinating at times like I and that's not even an exaggeration uh, I've never in my entire life ever fallen asleep standing up and I did that dozens of times I was you know they like literally I would catch myself falling forward that's how tired I was I mean it was that was the hardest part um, you know, you get to do some things like we do. You do get a little bit of food here and there. Um, we had some chickens at one point that we got to butcher and uh, eat. And on the last day, we got some squirrels that we got to uh, clean and 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 eat, cook over our fires that we had to create for one of our for like basically the last day. You have to build a shelter and fire and. Um, you know other things that you learned and uh, that was one of the things we got to do we got to eat the squirrel so you know you get a little bit of food not obviously not nearly enough calories to to keep you going the way you should be when you're burning that many calories doing that many physical activities but the food really wasn't the issue at least not for me personally it was the sleep deprivation I have never been that tired in my entire life I mean, it was just unbelievable how tired I was. So the last thing I want to talk about is basically, would I do anything differently? So, yes, I would. I would do, the one thing I would do differently is I would bring, I would probably bring some sort of like a shemag or... A bandana or something like that because I didn't know we could bring that stuff and there what there didn't seem to be an issue with it I wish I would have had something like that so I could have it just it's nice to have a piece of cotton that you can that you can wipe yourself down with that you can have there you know to cup to carry gear in or I mean there's just so many uses for it I would have definitely done that I would have I would have probably carried a couple of extra things maybe a, maybe a pair of gloves would have been good because my hands got really really cut up from all of the thorns uh, a couple people brought brought gloves and they were allowed to use them so and if you are allergic to poison ivy that would keep your hands protected i wore you know a long sleeve a, a, a long sleeve shirt pants boots like there were people who wore like short sleeve shirts and one guy who wore shorts I, I would not recommend doing that. Uh, you're going to get scraped up. You're going to get, uh, if you like I said, if you're allergic to poison ivy, you're going to get poison ivy all over you. So I would say cover yourself. That would be like one of the recommendations that I would give. And and if you if you want to bring gloves, they'll allow you, to, at least in my class, they allowed the people who brought gloves to use them. That would probably be the only thing I would do differently. I'm a pretty active person. I'm in pretty decent shape. I'm in good health. So the physical portion wasn't really that big of a deal to me personally. Uh, I kind of just powered through it. But if you're not 
if you're not in, in uh, at least relatively good shape, I would say before you take the class, maybe start exercising on a fairly regular basis because there it's it's very, very, very physical. I cannot, I don't think I can overemphasize how physical the class is. You are going to be pushed to your limits physically and mentally. So if you're not a, someone who's very strong mentally and you're not someone who's who at least is relatively physical, has that has that ability to to do things, physical things, you're going to struggle in the class um, hard. You're going to struggle a lot. So just be prepared for that. I mean, honestly, other than that, like I, I wouldn't do anything differently, really. I think I would just bring like a shamog and maybe a pair of gloves. But the other items I brought with me, my compass, my pace beads, my knife, my container, and my ferro rod, those were all... I would say another thing I would recommend is getting a big ferro rod because during some of the fire exercises, the people who were using the smaller smaller ferro rods were having trouble getting their their natural tender to, to ignite. By, just bring, excuse me, just bring a big, the biggest ferro rod that you can find. I brought my big... Uh, Uberlieben one it's like eight inches by a half inch thick and I never had an issue getting a fire started at ever not in the whole class I was able to get a fire started each and every time that we were tasked with doing it so it's pretty much it that's pretty much all I got I just wanted to kind of do a, 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 a relatively quick review on it and uh, I'm going to roll in some photos at the end but I uh, will catch you guys on the next one